What's up everyone? Glad to have you back. I was a little worried after the last video that some of you might give up on me. We're in a weird state right now. Um, if you didn't see the last video, check it out here. I basically bought my Sun Raider, tore it all apart to rebuild the RV, and situations have changed and I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. So anyways, the point of today's video is just to look at different options that we have. I haven't made any decisions yet on what I want to do, but I just want to look around a little bit more and get a feel for um, other options that are out there. Um, I did this before I bought the Sun Raider, but I'm just going to do it again just to slow down and kind of take a step back. So today we're going to tour the Lance 650, 850, and I believe it's the 1050. Uh, just kind of compare these and check them out. See which one might be a good contender for living in and traveling around the US, Canada, South America, wherever we may end up. So check them out. Let me know what you guys think of these Lances. There's a cool Lance. We're here at Tom's Campland. Right, Fife? Pickup uh, truck camper. Future camper parking? I want to look at the Lance 650. So this one's got one pop out. I've already decided I'm not gonna have a pop out, but man, that's nice. That is pretty cool with the pop out. But I can't have a pop out because of off-road ability, right, Fife? Can't have a pop out, dude. This is a 650. Okay, this is the Lance 650, and this thing is actually meant for a half-ton truck. Um, so it's super light. It's about 1,800 pounds wet. And check it out. Dude, it's pretty cool, huh? So it's kind of weird in that the fridge is up here. <laughs> just to save so space. You yeah, well, it's to save space. <laughs> no, I <I'm> not. <laughs> so we're both in here. We fit. I want to go, I want to check. Let's it's look actually, at the bathroom. Yeah, it's probably been a room for both of us standing in here right now. Like my way. Right, and then, dude, this is so. This is the smallest one you can get. Yeah, it's pretty tiny too. Yeah. Oh, the little TV and such. These Emergency windows, exit. windows look really nice. Sitting here on the toilet, plenty of space. Yeah, that's enough space. It's like an airplane. All right, so that's good. I like that. This is the kitchen area on the Lance 650. Yeah, overall, I think this thing's pretty cool. It can sit all the way up, which is pretty nice. So I'm a big guy. So I'm a pretty good test of... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not tight at all. Let me see. Let me see. Goofy, dude. Yeah, okay, so this is... It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Oh. Wait, we can move it out. We just moved it out. How do we move it out? No, you're gonna break it. Oh. Yeah, you're just gonna break it. Let's leave. Oh, okay. We gotta, no. we gotta go. We gotta go. No, Let's go. No, we gotta go now. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right. No. <laughs> but yeah, this is the 850. You can see, you can see the size difference from the 650 to the 850. 650 to the 850. Welcome to the Lance 850. Cool, huh? Oh, sliding door, that's nice. Oh, cool. hey. A 850 bathroom. A little bit bigger. Not too much, but a little bit. It's got the oven too. The 650 does not have an oven. Um, and just a bigger feel. And then also the Norcold fridge is right here rather than up in the bed. And then more room up in the bed area, just more room in general. Plenty of space up in here. So I feel like it's worth pulling the extra thousand pounds to get a little bit extra room to where everything doesn't really feel cramped. It doesn't really feel cramped in here at all. I like the table better thing for me too. See, seriously, the uh, Just sitting here relaxing. You look like you're really tucked up in there. Super comfortable. Super comfortable. Like what? What's? Where's the room for the bigger guys? Oh, oh. But what's well, got a hatch? I didn't know it had a hatch. Oh wow! Ah. The lance. 
it says a hatch. I think Phil needs to see the next one. So this you is a 1062. Look. This is a big guy. What do you this need? This was a pop out. Tons of space. Table. Oh, I see the Cirruses over there. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to look at them. Oh, they have a Palomino pop-up as well that we can look at. Cool. This table is so Great. amazing and so comfortable and does not even compare to the table in the 850 or the 650. And that's really too bad. But, uh... A nice bathroom. Yeah, that bathroom is awesome. So it's a dry bath with the separate toilet over there. And then Fife over here, look at that. Pop that rod out, that's pretty cool. Get some extra space. Let's try it out, huh? Yeah. A little past. Oh, I'm locking you in. <laughs> no problem, I got plenty of space. <laughs> but yeah, just so much floor space. So much floor space. So much floor space. So much floor space. And then these, these are real deal. This Whoa, is what these are this. supposed to look Whoa, like. Oh, look at that drawer. These are nice. Phil, that drawer. So, yeah. yeah, and that's a nice TV. Look at that drawer. All right, well, we gotta get out of here because I like this too much and I can't have a pop out. Because I want to do a lot of off-roading. So we can't have a pop-out, right, Fife? We right. just can't, dude. We just can't, all right? Don't even try to convince me. No, nope, can't have a pop-out. It's an extra, like, four or 500 pounds, and it'll break when I'm romping it. So let's go check out the Cirruses. Okay. All right, well, I'd say overall, those Lance campers were a strikeout, mainly due to the big, uh, well, not-so-big dinette area where my belly just uh, doesn't quite fit. <laughs> so, don't really like the Lances, to be honest with you. You've gotta check out the next video where I tour the Cirrus 820. So this is a new company, New Camp, that came out with this in 2016, I believe. Um, and they've done some updates for 2018. The Cirrus 820, in my opinion, is worlds beyond the Lance. Um, wood imported from Italy, aluminum framed, Asdell composite fiberglass siding, um, uh, the Froley bed system, and the Aldi heating system that it has in it from Europe. Yeah, these are way better. I mean, these things are just worlds beyond what Lance can even comprehend in my mind. So check out the next video where we tour the Cirrus 820. It's definitely, I gotta say, my favorite truck camper right now. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe along to follow the journey and, and see what I end up in so I can travel this beautiful world of ours. All right, see you guys next time.